Today, I'm gonna to be installing the Square D surge protector here on my outdoor service panel. This is supposed to help with my sensitive electronics in the house, especially with my solar system. So let's go ahead and walk through the steps of installing this here on my home. Main power enters my home here, and so everything below this is gonna be going into the house. So my first step is to shut off the 200 amp service. All right, everything has now been turned off. So because these two legs right here are going into my home and everything uh, below here is gonna be my house breaker box, I'm gonna put the open breaker right here. The surge protector requires either a 15, a 20, or a 30 amp breaker. So I've got a 20 here. The wires on the surge protector are 14 gauge, so 20 should be more than enough. How this is gonna be wired up? two black wires on the surge protector are gonna go on the breaker here. And then the white and green or the neutral and ground are going to sweep around and connect to this tall bus bar over here. The neutrals and grounds are all tied together. So that's pretty simple there. After, it's been, after the wires have been installed here, you just click this into position and you are good to go. Installation is uh, pretty simple here. Now the Square D is shipped with about three feet of wire and this is just too much for my box here. So I'm gonna cut off the top uh, foot just using uh, my little pliers here. And that should give me enough room here to uh, work with and not have so much excess wire here in my little box. Going to strip that back down to expose the wire. I need access to a half inch knockout. I'm going to use this one right here. Just put a screwdriver up under here and pop that free. There we go. Now I'm going to feed all four of the wires up through that knockout. Slide the locking nut back over there and then tighten that down. This is plastic, so there's no need to over tighten everything. I'm gonna take my neutral wire and I'm gonna run it up under the other wires to keep things nice and clean here. Just step this up here like this. I'm gonna bend the top over a little bit and then find the position that I want to lock this down into. Right here seems good enough. Use a screwdriver, tighten that down. Likewise, I'm gonna take the ground or the green wire here and do the same thing. Run that up behind the other wires. Now it's time to move on to the black wires. I've got my breaker. I'm going to place the wire down here into one side. It doesn't matter which side you start with. They're both the same. Tighten down that onto the wire. Now move over to the other black wire. Place that into the breaker. Now that I have those wires in, it's time to get the breaker itself clicked into position. I'm gonna start like this right here, fold it over, and then press down. Make sure it's made a nice solid connection like that. Now this breaker is in the on position. Whenever the power is turned back on, we should see the light turn on here on the square D. Going to flip the main power back on. Now, if we look down here, 
There is a green LED here on the Square D surge protector. It's recommended that the Square D surge protector be at the top of your breaker panel. So for my case, it's out here. And so it is definitely before my indoor breaker box. So I should be good there. If you've enjoyed this installation, hit that thumbs up, be sure to subscribe. I'm Seth with the Land of House YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.